The Megalodon is the world's most famous ancient predator. Big, dangerous, and deadly. The Meg went extinct about 3.6 million years ago. Or maybe it didn't. Some people claim to have seen the giant sharks. Others believe Megalodons are hiding from us deep in the ocean, where people had never been, such as in the Mariana Trench. Also, people constantly find Megalodon teeth. Some think it's because the giant sharks still exist, but are just trying to avoid attracting attention. Let's compare a human to this sea monster. In the left corner, we have an average person, 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighing 136 pounds. In the right corner, a megalodon. Average length, 34 feet. Weight, about 50 tons. So we're up against an animal the size of a school bus, which has the mass of a Boeing 737. Let's take a closer look at the megalodon. Of course, it has teeth. Each one is 7.1 inches long. These are the largest teeth of any shark species that has ever lived. The megalodon also had more teeth than any other animal. 250 teeth in five rows. Its jaw may have been 6.6 .6 feet wide. You could lie inside its mouth and feel quite comfortable. Of course, only if you could forget that you were lying in the mouth of an ancient predator. If you put on an exoskeleton made of titanium, an encounter with the Meg wouldn't be so dangerous. But its jaws are still capable of damaging even something as tough as this. Megalodon, the greatest shark of all time, has been spotted in the waters of the South Atlantic. And now a group of researchers are preparing for the expedition of a lifetime. They'll need to locate, catch, and tag the ocean predator to further study its behavior. First of all, they need a fishing boat large enough to withstand the weight and lunge force of such a huge shark. At the moment, the only vessel close enough to what they need is O-Search, a former crabbing boat refurbished to catch and tag great white sharks. It's equipped with a sort of corral, a broad platform on the side which the crew loads caught sharks. These beasts are so massive that researchers have to counterbalance their boat with water when they haul a shark on board. But although great whites are the largest modern predatory sharks, they're still much smaller than the megalodon. A great white shark can grow up to 20 feet in length and weigh over 2 tons. The megalodon, on the other hand, reached 60 to 80 feet and weighed a whopping 50 tons. No fishing vessel can hold such a weight right now, so a different approach had to be devised. The researchers decided to follow the lead of their colleagues in Indonesia. Conservation International tags whale shark. These are the largest of the modern shark species. They weigh up to 10 tons. Since they feed on plankton, just like baleen whales, they're not a threat to humans, and they sometimes get caught in fishing nets. That's when fishers call on scientists to tag them. A team of divers gets down to the shark and places a satellite tag on its dorsal fin. Then the shark is let loose. The megalodon hunt is going to be different, though. Fossilized teeth of these gigantic predators reach the size of 7 inches, over 3 times larger than the teeth of great whites. Their weight also has to be taken into account. If the surviving Meg somehow gets into a fishing net, it'll probably just tear it apart with its sheer mass, helping with its monstrous teeth. Industrial fishing nets are usually made of synthetic materials, such as nylon or polyester. In this particular case, something much sturdier has to be deployed. In the end, the scientist's choice fell on the common shark fishing practice, a drift gill net. It's a set of nets that catch fish by the gills, and they drift near the surface or in midwater, just where most sharks usually dwell. The megalodon doesn't like cold, so it won't dive too deep and will probably be closer to the surface where the water is warmer. The big and flexible net will entangle the shark, not letting it tear through and get away. There will also have to be a larger mesh size. The meg is massive and will get caught anyway, while smaller fish will swim through no problem. In July 1916, the New Jersey coast of the U.S. was left terrified after a series of shark attacks. It happened during an oppressive heat wave when hundreds of beachgoers tried to escape the heat near the water. People describe the culprit that caused all that havoc as a giant shark, much bigger than any regular one. Since then, 
scientists have been debating which shark species was involved in those accidents. The most popular guesses have been the bull shark and the great white. While swimming in a tropical sea pretty much anywhere in the world, you might come across a massive shark. The animal's length could reach up to 40 feet. The largest specimen ever seen was a mind-boggling 62 feet long. It's the length of four large hippos. The creature also has a colossal gaping mouth, up to 5 feet in a large specimen. So warm waters, huge size, formidable jaws… Is it the megalodon? Nah, just a whale shark. Despite its impressive bulk, this creature is slow-moving and totally docile. It may grow as long as the meg used to, but isn't likely to be as heavy. The whale shark is a filter feeder, and its favorite food is plankton. The animal also hates low temperatures. Any colder than 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's already too cold for the shark. The first pictures of a huge shark roaming the Pacific Ocean, not far from Guadalupe Island, appeared in 1999. The creature got the name Deep Blue. It could be distinguished from others of its kind by a wavy pattern separating its gray back and white belly. But even though some people claimed it could be the infamous megalodon, experts concluded it was a female white shark, the largest they had ever seen. The average length of a male white shark is 11 to 13 feet. Females are bigger, up to 16 feet. But Deep Blue reached 22 feet in length. No wonder people were confused. For the last time, Deep Blue was spotted in 2013 near the western coast of Mexico's Baja, California. But look, there's another jumbo shark that can be met in any part of the world. The largest specimens reach 32 feet long and weigh about 5 tons. Judging from the shark's size, it could be, if not the megalodon itself, but one of its relatives. And again, a wrong guess. That's the basking shark. It prefers subpolar seas, with temperatures not higher than 58 degrees, even though some of these animals do migrate to warmer places. Like whale sharks, basking sharks are harmless and don't bother snorkelers or divers. Giant oar fish The largest bony fish in the world can be half as long as a semi, though some rare specimens have doubled that. Giant manta ray Their wingspan can be longer than a bus. They also have the biggest brain compared to body size among all fish. Unlike their stingray cousins, mantas don't have venomous tails. Orca This largest of dolphin species actually has different cultures. Two orcas from different groups won't even understand each other's language. They're the only animal known to do this. Dunkleosteus Strangely enough, this prehistoric fish known as the T-Rex of the seas had no teeth. Those were replaced with bony plates that allowed it to have the strongest bite among other monsters of its size. Camaroceras Yep, it's a giant prehistoric mollusk. 90% of its entire body was a cone shell. This made it motionless, and it fed by waiting for prey in ambush for hours. Chronosaurus One of the largest of the pliosaurs, which were marine reptiles. Remains of one specimen show that these monsters fed on dinosaurs. Cachalot The most massive toothed whale has the biggest brain on Earth. Theirs weighs an average of 15 pounds, five times that of an adult human. These massive marine mammals feed on giant squid. Bacillosaurus When its fossils were first discovered, it was mistaken for a marine reptile and given a name that means king lizard but it's really a type of ancient whale that had small hind limbs. Say whale The third largest whale species and one of the fastest in the world can reach speeds up to 30 miles per hour. That's rare for creatures of this size. Shastosaurus The largest marine reptile to ever live would take up three quarters of a basketball court. It had no teeth, so it probably ate by lunging at schools of fish with its mouth wide open, something called suction feeding. Blue Whale The most massive creature to ever live on Earth is so big that its heart alone is the size of a golf cart, and its vessels are as big as buckets. Their songs can be heard from hundreds of miles away. But we still can't make out the lyrics. Lion's Mane Jellyfish This is the largest jellyfish in the world. Imagine a tower bell with tentacles almost half as long as a football field. 
A jellyfish of this size can entangle you with its tentacles. But they're not at the top of the marine food chain. They feed hungry sea turtles and anemones, also pronounced anemones. Blue bottle jellyfish. Don't let the name fool you. This strange creature is actually something called a siphonophore, an animal made up of a colony of organisms. It, or they, is the longest living being on this planet. The tentacles, which are a separate organism from the float on top, is almost the length of the Tower of Pisa. And they're venomous. Of course they are. Why should we catch a break now? A diving instructor from Port Macquarie, Australia, has been buddies with a female Port Jackson shark for over half a decade. The man met his friend when the shark was just a pup. At first, he approached the shark carefully, not wanting to scare her off. Pretty soon, she got used to him and let him pat and even cradle her. After that, the two became regular friends. The shark always recognizes the man and demands hugs at each visit. He doesn't want his story to encourage others to take risks around these marine creatures, but he hopes people will stop seeing them as only aggressive attackers. If you're still not convinced that sharks are pretty cool, then get ready to hear some amazing shark facts that'll blow your mind. Not all shark species live in the ocean. You can also see them in some freshwater lakes and rivers. For instance, bull sharks swim in tropical rivers, but they also don't mind dipping their fins in salt water. Rivers in the areas of New Guinea, Australia, and South Asia are home to river sharks. Sharks are famous for their sense of smell, but their acute hearing is also pretty impressive. They can hear as far as 800 feet away. They're even able to catch the sound of their prey tensing its muscles. Tiger sharks aren't fussy eaters. They'll settle for pretty much anything that happens to be in the water, including Barbie dolls, license plates, tires, and rubber boots. No wonder these sharks have the nickname garbage can of the sea. The shark skeleton isn't made of bones. It consists of only cartilage and muscle, which is much less dense than bones. That's why they're such great swimmers and can make sharp turns thanks to their flexibility. They're also older than dinosaurs. Scientists believe sharks have been around for about 450 million years. Their ancestors were a group of fish called acanthodians, or spiny sharks. They look like small sharks, but had different fins. For comparison, the first dinosaurs appeared more than 200 million years later. Sharks have rows and rows of teeth, and can grow as many as 30,000 teeth in a lifetime. Boy, wouldn't that keep the dental office busy? They'd only need one patient. Depending on the species, they can have up to 15 rows in each jaw. At the front, they have the most powerful teeth, and at the back, they get smaller. Since their teeth aren't deeply rooted like humans, sharks often lose them, but grow new ones right away. In other words, their jaws are like conveyor belts of teeth. Believe it or not, sharks and humans have a common ancestor that lived around 440 million years ago. Even though we both evolved in our own way, there are still some signs of that connection. For example, the genome of an elephant shark is very similar to humans. Sharks don't sleep. They're up all night watching bright side. Many species have to that was a joke. Many species have to keep water moving over their gills to get oxygen, so they can't fall into a deep sleep like we do. That's why they stay half awake during rest. Typically, Sharks don't even close their eyes. There's a rare species, the goblin shark, that's so old it was nicknamed the living fossil. The goblin shark has been around for more than 100 million years. It has pink skin and an odd-looking flat snout. These animals usually live close to the ocean floor, deep underwater. Sharks have a sixth sense, and they like Bruce Willis very much. Actually, no. But they can navigate and hunt even in complete darkness or murky waters, thanks to special cells in their head that can detect electricity. And all animals produce weak electric fields because of the difference in the ion concentration between their bodies and seawater. This ability to detect electricity makes them the best electrical sensors on the planet. The average length of a great white is 23 feet. 
However, the largest shark people have come across was 26 feet long. Wow, that's half the length of a basketball court. Despite such an impressive size, great white sharks can move at a speed of 35 miles per hour, which is really fast for underwater traffic. The bite of a great white has a terrifying force of 1.8 tons per square inch. That's 10 times more forceful than a lion's bite. As for the teeth themselves, a great white has five rows of teeth. Each row contains 46 teeth, and each tooth is of a size similar to a human palm with a length of 3.5 inches. By the way, these guys don't ever get cavities. Hundreds of teeth can fall out and regrow within a shark's lifetime. Lucky them. Female sharks grow to be much larger than males. At maturity, a great white can reach a weight of 1,500 to 2,400 pounds. And now brace yourself. The heaviest great white shark on record weighed an epic 7,328 pounds. There's almost no place on Earth where you won't have an opportunity to meet a great white shark. These animals hunt along the coasts of all the continents. Well, except for Antarctica, as the water there is too cold. The temperature great whites prefer ranges from 54 degrees Fahrenheit to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. But if you're really eager to make the acquaintance of a great white shark, come to Dyer Island in South Africa. This place is also called Shark Alley. And since most great white sharks choose exactly this location for life, you can see why. Researchers are sure that great white sharks have been roaming the seas for the last 16 million years, perhaps even more. And while scientists used to believe that a great white's life expectancy didn't exceed 25 years, new research proves that these predators typically live up to 70 years. Pacific sleeper sharks look unlike any other shark. Their body is shaped like a torpedo, they have a wide, blunt head, and their mouth is pretty small. The biggest representatives of this species can grow as long as 23 feet. One more thing that makes Pacific sleepers stand apart is their color. It's not that silver and white shade you'd expect from a proper shark. Dark gray, or even black, helps Pacific sharks blend in with the sunless depths in which they live. In addition, Pacific sleepers have tiny eyes, which are most often colonized by parasites. These nightmarish minuscule creatures occupy the outer layer of the shark's eye and munch on the tissue making the sharks almost blind. Luckily, they have a perfect sense of smell to help them not to starve. It's probably obvious that Pacific sharks live in the Pacific Ocean. But while researchers used to think that this species lived only in the north, some of these gigantic predators have been spotted near Mexico and even Taiwan. The tiger shark is one of the largest shark species in the world. Their average length can reach 16 feet, but the largest specimen reached 24 feet. They can weigh 800 to 1,500 pounds, which is heavier than the average horse. Why exactly are they called tiger sharks? It's because when a baby shark is born, it's covered with dark stripes resembling those of a tiger. Unfortunately, this pretty pattern fades when a shark becomes older. Just like their namesakes, tiger sharks are excellent hunters. Besides using their perfect eyesight and developed sense of smell, these sharks have one more advantage. Near their snouts are special pores filled with a substance that resembles jelly. This substance can sense electric fields. All living beings give off some kind of electric field. Thus, a tiger shark can always find its prey. The most unique thing about a tiger shark is its teeth. They are not just super sharp, they also have saw-like edges. These teeth are so strong that they can easily bite through a clam or a sea turtle. Uh-oh. One more unwanted image to make our nightmares more exciting. Bizarre deep-sea cucumbers are bigger than their shallow water relatives and have been spotted at a depth of 35,000 feet. These creatures spend most of their time on the seafloor. But if they have to escape predators, they can swim away. Deep-sea cucumbers have bright purplish coloring, tiny feet, and tentacles that surround its mouth. The telescope octopus drifts at a depth of more than 6,500 feet, unlike other octopuses that prefer hanging around near the seafloor. Its body is almost entirely transparent, and there is a filmy webbing between its tentacles. The octopus also has protruding telescope-like eyeballs. They rotate and provide the animal with impressive peripheral vision. The cone jelly is a stunning oval creature with eight rows of teeny paddling plates that look like combs. When the jelly swims, these plates disperse light, which creates the trademark rainbow effect. The comb jelly has been roaming the oceans for at least 500 million years. And despite its name, 
the creature has little in common with jellyfish. These species aren't even genetically related. The tripod fish adapted to the almost complete darkness of the Mariana Trench by abandoning its vision. This creature has super long, feathery fins that allow it to perch on the seafloor. The fish has to rely on vibration and touch to sense prey. When it does, the tripod fish uses its fins as hands to transport food directly into its mouth. As for the owlfish, it has giant eyes that catch even the faintest glimmers of light. And those are scarce at a depth of almost 22,000 feet. That's how deep this creature can live. Hard-shell, shrimp-like creatures called amphipods can live at 33,000 feet below the surface. The largest of them grow up to 12 inches long. Their exoskeletons are made of calcium carbonate. Interestingly, this substance dissolves if you go deeper than 15,000 feet, the pressure is too great, and the temperature too low. But amphipods have a protective shield made of aluminum. Giant clams are the largest mollusks in the world. They can grow around 4 feet in length and weigh more than 440 pounds. So if you're planning on trying to pick one up, you might want to train first by lifting two baby elephants at once. Each and every one of these clams has its own unique coloration, which makes them one of the most visually stunning creatures in the ocean. It usually keeps to itself and lives off sugars and protein produced by algae. And if you find house hunting a stressful experience, you might have some sympathy for the giant clam. It lives in the warm waters of the South Pacific and Indian Oceans, and before settling down, it needs to find the perfect location. It searches far and wide for the ideal spot of sand or coral reef to call home. It's gotta be good, because this creature will remain in the same place for the rest of its life. When left undisturbed, they can live for over 100 years. Now, this crab looks like something you'd see in a video game or some sci-fi alien movie. My goodness, just look at it! The giant spider crab lives in the waters near Japan. Their legs reach about 11 and a half feet from claw to claw, and the body can be around 14.5 inches in diameter. It spends most of its time looking for animal remains, mollusks, and shellfish to feed on. But don't be fooled thinking this crab looks a little twiggy and weak. Its massive size alone keeps most predators away, 